was the advice from a father to a daughter? Means uh, when uh, the night before the final, obviously meeting between England, who were considered to be the favourites, but then uh, her initial spell of bowling. So, can you talk us through the moment, uh, what that you had with your daughter before the final, and what was the discussion all about after she won the match? What was the first thing that you chatted after the after she won the uh, tournament? Our with our astonishment and with her astonishment also. She was dropped in the first match. No, she was not fielded. But that gives lot of that gave lot of in confidence on me and as a player. You know why she was dropped. Then in the next match she was fielded, and she didn't bowl that good. You know it happens. You know when you get dropped and you pick up, when you get a chance, then confidence you know doesn't come easily. But the way tournament actually went by, she grew up with confidence, and gradually India, what India team did, they reduced the number of pace bowlers. Uh, finally, single pace bowler that is Tithas, and she reciprocation happened. You know, team management gave confidence to her, and she also gave confidence to the team management that I can hit the right areas and I can get breakthroughs. But uh, she didn't get the fourth over in many matches. Only uh, she completed her spell in only two matches. In the final and another match I don't remember. After reaching the final, when she called, I told her, "That's it. Reaching final is your target. You know, it is anybody's tournament target is reaching final. Is both the final. Reaching final is the most prestigious thing rather than being champion. You know, you know if you." I told her. She said, "Why?" I said, "If you follow football World Cup, both finalists are that much prestigious because you will be uh, the members of the finalist team has a different kind of a prestige. The championship is a different. That is a one-day affair. You know, anybody can beat anybody at that day. What happens, you don't know. So that took lot of pressure from her. You know, she said, "Oh, that's it." Okay, and I told her you bowl like any any like a para cricket or something. You bowl like anything, you know. So what I saw, what I got from her, or when looking at the match, she bowled completely pressure free. Yeah, that's how she hit in the right area. And if you remember, she was bowling the third over in the power play. That is very, you know. Very complicated uh, situation for a bowler because you are getting anticipated for that. You know, I told her before the final, if you get the third over, then don't hesitate to mix things up. You have to mix your deliveries. You have to keep the batsman batter guessing. You know what you can give, and generally a bowler and a young bowler. Actually, gets afraid of doing that. You cannot go where you know back of the hand. You know, even if you know. No, what happens if if I get hit for a six or a four? But in the final, she didn't hesitate. You know, she did. And then I I understand that she is pressure free and she is, that's how this kind of figure actually. She, her figure could have been better. You know, one catch dropped in the uh, behind the wicket. Uh, there will be a lot of expectation now. Now she has to make the big leap, the giant leap, as so as to say, to getting into the, breaking into the senior team. And also with the IPL coming, there will be a lot of uh, focus, lot of uh, media hype and attention. So now her real challenge lies ahead. So what is that one thing uh, as a father would advise her? She has to live up to the standard, you know, of IPL. You know, uh, yeah, she has to practice hard. No, their batters will hit you, and hit you mentally. No, they will. They everybody know because in 19 under 19 World Cup, she is exposed to the whole world. You know, everybody knows what she is capable of. Everybody knows that she is a very consistently hitting bowler in a hard length. So every batter will, you know. No, Will try to take you out of that area, you know. So they will hit you mentally. So there will be tough mental and physical affair if she gets a chance in IPL. That is one. She has to live up to that. 
she has to practice hard she has to bowl more and more and she has to look at even if i get hit i i have to hit that area again because the battery is doing out of desperation you know that she has to understand one and next life is she was new to this kind of a life of attention light life of expectation life of you know pressure life of life of continuous demand from a huge big country that she has to cope with because she is young and we have a task of you know keeping her mind out of that you know and let her be into the you know path of progress a proud feeling means as a mother uh, what it has done she has not only made the family proud she has made the country proud i'm very happy really happy and really proud not only for titash but the whole team because the last 9 month uh, she was with the team and it's like a family now they are all same age group girls and and i met all of them time to time over this 9 month many time and i feel really good not as only a mother or as a woman also the girls of our country doing so well they are so advanced so i really feel good for all of them now at the hindsight do you think that it was the right move from the family to get her into cricket because she is very good in her academics also ash is a very independent kind of a person she made hard decisions and we always encourage that we always respect her decisions ha huh. she is very intelligent she, and she is a very good person as a human being she is very good ha huh. so when she told me that she want to uh, wanted to drop a uh, board class 12 yeah. board yeah. ha huh. uh, it's really hard for me because wow. I am from academic. I was good at academic, so I always have expectations in my. And she is also good, ha. So it's very hard. But again, as I have told you, I always respect my daughter's wish. So I said, okay, if it is your choice, and you feel that you can go hundred percent to your dream, want to give hundred percent for your dream, then go ahead. I am always with her, because end of the day, a what a mother wants. he wants to see her daughter to be happy yeah. that's it i just want that yeah. and did you have a word with her after she won the final yeah what is that one thing that she told told you amra jite gechi okay and now obviously now that she will make a wincy arrive home what would be that first thing what what does she love eating I means obviously what, what would you prepare for her i have <laughs> I don't know I will prepare for her or not but she loves sweet chinese This is extra time extra time